The Ethiopian eunuch is a figure in the New Testament of the Bible. The story of his conversion to Christianity is recounted in Acts 8. Biblical narrative Philip the Evangelist was told by an angel to go to the road from Jerusalem to Gaza, and there he met the Ethiopian eunuch, the treasurer of Candace, queen of the Ethiopians. Ancient Greek, Candake was the Meroitic language term for queen, or possibly royal woman. He had been to Jerusalem to worship Acts chapter 8 verse 27, and was returning home. The eunuch was sitting in his chariot reading the book of Isaiah, and had come to Isaiah chapter 53 verses 7 to 8. Philip asked the Ethiopian, Do you understand what you are reading? He said he did not. How can I understand unless I have a teacher to teach me? And asked Philip to explain the text to him. Philip told him the gospel of Jesus, and the Ethiopian asked to be baptized. They went down into some water and Philip baptized him. In the King James Version and the Catholic Douay Rheims Version, the Ethiopian says, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Verse 37, but this is omitted in most modern versions. Hubbard suggests that confession is not supported in the better manuscripts, i.e., the Alexandrian text type. Although the Ethiopian is still one of the outstanding converts in Acts. After this, Philip was suddenly taken away by the Spirit of the Lord, and the eunuch went on his way rejoicing. Verse 39. Christian traditions Topic. Church Father Street Irenaeus of Lyons in his book Adversus Heresies Against the Heresies, an early anti-Gnostic theological work 312, AD, wrote regarding the Ethiopian eunuch. This man Simeon Bacos the eunuch was also sent into the regions of Ethiopia, to preach what he had himself believed, that there was one God preached by the prophets, but that the Son of this God had already made his appearance in human flesh, and had been led as a sheep to the slaughter, and all the other statements which the prophets made regarding him. In Ethiopian Orthodox Tewahedo tradition he was referred to as Bakos and in Eastern Orthodox tradition he is known as an Ethiopian Jew with the name Simeon also called the Black, a name used in Acts chapter 13 verse 1. Topic. Assessment and interpretation Topic. Topic. Religion Topic. The Ethiopian eunuch's religion of origin is significant because of the subsequent implications of his conversion to Christianity. There are many competing theories for the eunuch's pre-conversion religious status in relation to Judaism and Christianity. Modern scholarship tends to place the Ethiopian eunuch in the intermediate position between Jew and Gentile. Scott Schaff suggests that the Primary point of the story is about carrying the gospel to the end of the earth, not about establishing a mission to Gentiles. And thus Luke does not bring the Gentile status of the Ethiopian into the foreground. Quote, However, the suggestion that the eunuch is or at least might be a Gentile in the story, by both his ethnic and possibly physical description, may leave more formative possibility than if he had been explicitly categorized. Ernst Henschen builds on Ferdinand Christian Bauer's work 1792 in concluding that the author of Acts made the eunuch's religious identity ambiguous intentionally so as to preserve the tradition that claimed Cornelius as the first Gentile convert as well as the tradition that claimed the Ethiopian eunuch as the first Gentile convert. Sexuality <inaudible> 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 Commentators generally suggest that the combination of eunuch together with the title court official indicates a literal eunuch, who would have been excluded from the temple by the restriction in Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 1. Some scholars point out that eunuchs were excluded from Jewish worship and extend the New Testament's inclusion of these men to other sexual minorities, John J. McNeil, citing non-literal uses of eunuch. In other New Testament passages such as Matthew chapter 19 verse 12, writes that he likes to think of the eunuch as the first baptized gay Christian, while Jack Rogers writes that 
The fact that the first Gentile convert to Christianity is from a sexual minority and a different race, ethnicity and nationality together," calls Christians to be radically inclusive and welcoming. Race and origins Candace was the name given to all the female rulers or consorts of the Kingdom of Kush now part of Sudan in Greco-Roman historiography. It derives from a Meroitic word, kdke, that referred to any royal woman. Ethiopian was a Greek term for black people generally, often applied to Kush which was well known to the Hebrews and often mentioned in the Hebrew Bible. The eunuch was not from the land today known as Ethiopia, which corresponds to the ancient kingdom of Aksum, which conquered Kush in the 4th century. The first writer to call it Ethiopia was Philostorgius around 440. Frank M. Snowden, Jr., interpret the story as emphasizing that early Christian communities accepted members regardless of race. Ethiopians were the yardstick by which antiquity measured colored peoples. Others, such as Clarice Martin, write that it is a commentary on the religion rather than on its adherents, showing Christianity's geographical extent. Gay L. Byron goes further, saying, the Ethiopian eunuch was used by Luke to indicate that salvation could extend even to Ethiopians and blacks. David Tuesday Adamo suggests that the word used here, Athiops Athiops, is best translated simply as African. Related figures Topic. C. K. Barrett contrasts the Ethiopian eunuch's story with that of Cornelius the Centurion, another convert. He notes that while the Ethiopian continues on his journey home and passes out of the narrative, Cornelius and his followers form another church in Judea, and speculates that this reflects a desire to focus on Peter rather than Philip. Robert O. Toole argues that the way Philip is taken away parallels the way Jesus disappears after he has been talking to the disciples on the road to Emmaus in Luke chapter 24. There are literary parallels between the story of the Ethiopian eunuch in Acts and that of Ebed Melich, an Ethiopian eunuch in the book of Jeremiah. References Topic. External links Topic. Media related to Ethiopian eunuch at Wikimedia Commons